There was a man in the Bible, his name is John the Baptist. And John the Baptist grew up in the wilderness. He was a child of the desert. He foreswore marriage. His diet was locust beans and wild honey and whatever meager fare the desert made available to him. He was a unique individual in human history. He was a unique individual in the life of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, because he lived for one purpose, the spiritual welfare of his fellow man. That's what he lived for. He was not intimidated by the powerful. Out of his mouth came these words. They're good words for Holy Week. Repent. Make straight a path for the coming of the most important person in your life, the Lamb of God, slain from the foundation of the world. Repent. Be baptized. Come to Him. Those were the words of John the Baptist. His name was on everyone's lips. The Bible says all Jerusalem came out to hear Him. It must have warmed His heart to be so famous. And then all of a sudden, his cousin comes out of Nazareth, Carpenter's son. His cousin, whose name is Jesus. And it will be forever to John the Baptist's credit that he stepped away from being the top dog. And out of his mouth came these words about Jesus. He must increase. I must decrease. He lived his life for the spiritual welfare of other human beings. That's what Jesus did. Philippians 2, 5. He didn't think it robbery to be equal with God, but he emptied himself and took on him the form of a servant and was made in the likeness of men. And being found in fashion as a man, he humbled himself, became obedient unto death, even death on a cross on that Good Friday. And because he did that, God has given him a name which is above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow of things in heaven and things on earth and things under the earth. Jesus' purpose was the spiritual welfare of his children. Abundant life on this earth because we're connected to him and everlasting life with him when we breathe our last. Reconnect with the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Reconnect in His Word, in His Sacrament, in worship. Reconnect with Him in your eagerness to live your life for the spiritual welfare of others that God has placed in your life. In our Savior's name, amen.